Hi, stackers. Bring you back again. I've got something a bit different to show you. I don't know if many people have seen these, but uh, for the UK market anyway, I, I think they're uh, pretty good. I would say they're brilliant, but it's what you will need in the future. What I'm saying is actually, yeah, you'll need these. You don't want to be carrying around loads of kilo bars and 10 ounce bars and that type of stuff. What you want. is some of these, I'll open them up for you. There you go. Wrong way. Oops. There you go. Just put one out. Add it on the floor. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. So I'm just gonna have to pick these up off the floor, give me a minute. That really helped me in the fact of these. Yeah, so it's something you're gonna need to have going forward, or maybe your, your daughter in a few years might need to have. With what they're bringing out, what they're planning what the elite are planning to do um, and if you think that everything's going to carry on the way it is uh, we're just going to plot through everything things are going to change for definite i've got these out so i might as well show you they're one tenth of an ounce britannias there you go There's a wicked witch in the West. So they're only obviously one tenth of an ounce. And if you're working out now, uh, a couple of quids worth, 152 quids worth. Yeah. But in the future, if dollar, uh, silver goes to where it should go, this could buy you a meal depending where you live, but it can buy you a meal. And the whole point, what I really like about these, okay, I know they're not exactly cheap, um, if you're in Britain, it's, they're more expensive because you've got to pay back on top. So in Britain, you buy one of these, it will cost you 58 pound plus back. So you're looking around 70 quid and it depends how many you get it you should get free delivery. So what this is, is a tenth of an ounce Britannia's, and this is how they come. But let me just tip one out. Oh, there you go. They come in 16 in the tube. And there you go. One tenth of an ounce Britannia's. So you've got Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So I'm just looking at these, you know, in a few years' time, when you can do a bit of bartering once they've smashed the system completely as it can start to get back on its feet. If you need a bit of money, what you do, what you'll do is you'll, you'll take these down to where you can sell them and uh, you'll, you'll buy them. You know, uh, you'll sell them for, you know, for whatever silver's worth at the time. And you can use it for trading or you can just use it for selling. Or if you're that way inclined and you want you want to sell a, a, a big amount, you just melt them down. 
I wouldn't do that. So the idea is to have a few of these. I'll end up getting about 20 or 30 tubes. Because to me, I'm not looking at, you know, it's, it's gonna cost me a certain amount. I'm looking at what the future, what they will get in the future. So my point is, something like this could be invaluable. You don't want to be carrying kilo bars and 10 ounce bars or a tube of Britannia's around. Slip one of these in your pocket, no one's going to know the difference. Um, if an ounce of silver's worth 200 quid, yeah, you've got a couple of hundred quid on you, or dollars, or whatever, you know, whatever the currency will be. So, I'll, I'm just about to show you where uh, I, get, I got these, which is pretty obvious, but uh, have a look. And my point is, if you can get them in your own country, if they got these in America or Canada or something and you can buy them there cheaper, do that. But, you know, uh, if you haven't got a raw mint account, it's not going to cost them much to ship to you. But even getting a few of these, I think these are a, a good investment. I think there's wrong there. So, let me know what you think. As I said, I'll introduce a piece of a video of this where you can buy them. But get some. You know, it, it's fractional money. This is what I call fractional money. So this is Regal, I'm out of here.